So are you ready to take a look at Bad Batch? I am. This one I'm super stoked about. I'm going to need you to educate me a lot on Bad Batch because I just don't know anything about them. So Bad Batch is a team of ragtag clones that are, they're different from regular clones. They're like the defects, I guess you could say. And Mm. so they go outside of the norm of what the clone troopers do. Like the clone troopers, they aided the Jedi in the battle against the Separatists. The Bad Batch, they were like, kind of like spies, but it starts out after Order 66. Most of them, it doesn't register the Order 66. And so they have no idea what's going on. They see their brothers killing everyone. And so they escape and they go to the area where all the clones are made. I'm trying to Mm -hmm. think where it is. Camino. Camino, yeah. And so they go there and they're trying to figure out, you know, what's going on. But they are just a bunch of these guys that try and help other people who need help. And they go to different planets, different cities. They meet this, this other character, Omega. So after Order 66... Camino is shutting down the creation of clones and they have no idea what's going to happen. So they're just trying to survive. They're on the run. So they have to do certain jobs to make money in order to survive. The way you describe it um, sounds a lot like uh, maybe uh, the A-Team. Yes, that's exactly. They're like the A-Team. They have a wonky person. They have a serious person. They have a tech person. Do they have a muscle person? Oh, yeah. They definitely do. Okay, wow. (laughs) Like it literally is the A-Team. I loved the A-Team when when it was on TV. That's, uh, you're speaking my language. I, I, I should probably start watching. See, but I... I want to finish like the Clone Wars, you know, before I start watching that. You should just because the beginning of Bad Batch is after the end of Clone Wars. And you even, spoiler alert, you even get to see um, Kanan Jarrus from Rebels as a child. You see what happens with his master and how Mm -hmm. he escapes. And you see the Bad Batch saving him from being killed and you know helping him you know run away so while you can watch it without watching clone wars it does help to watch clone wars just so you know the entire lore of the situation i believe there's a episode in season seven that have them and they show what their job is that they go to different planets and do spy stuff and things like that okay cool Cool. All right. Well, uh, what do you say we uh, we take a look at this trailer for season two and see what it's all about? All right. Okay. You can buy your freedom. You can have a future. Isn't that what you're after? We're already free. Clearly, you're not paying attention to what's happening out there. Oh. It is time for a new Oh, year. that's so cool. So, Palpatine's in this. Yeah. For this briefly. Out there who need our help. We'll take all the allies we can Who's get. the Rambo character? <laughs> the it's Rambo gone. character, he is... Uh, he's the leader. That's Hunter. They all have really unique names based off of their their skill set, I guess. But that is so amazing. I am so excited for that one. The music is fantastic with that, too. Okay. I saw a Wookiee Jedi. And that one's going to be exciting because there are Wookiee Jedis. That one's going to be fun to see. There is in, spoiler alert, the Mandalorian, no, Boba Fett. There's a mercenary Wookiee yeah. starting to introduce different types of Wookiees other than Chewie. Right. And so that's going to be really exciting to see one as a Jedi. Right. So that's um, going to be good to see how they're going to introduce that because it is during the time when all the Jedis are supposed to be obsolete. So seeing that is going to be really cool because you're probably going to see the struggle. And I hope that they're going to interact and go do something together. So you saw season one. Were there any Inquisitors in season one of Bad Batch? I don't recall seeing any Inquisitors. There was Fennec from... 
Boba Fett. She was actually in, in Bad Batch. But I don't okay. believe the Inquisitors have been created yet. Because Anakin just became Vader. So it's right in that area. And the Inquisitors, they're created a little bit later. But I think it's really just going to be Sith that we've already seen. And maybe the beginning of the Inquisitors. Okay. I think, though, uh, that I think the Bad Batch probably won't really introduce any more force users just because it's going to concentrate on that ragtag team and the relationship with them and Omega. I don't know if you want me to talk about it since you haven't seen it yet. A, a little bit. I mean, uh, she's a new character like created for the show, right? She is, we yeah. We haven't seen her any anywhere else? No. She's kind of like Boba Fett. Boba Fett was technically a clone of Django, but he didn't grow like the normal clones. Django wanted him to grow like a normal person. And mm-hmm. Omega is this, is made the same way. And she ages at a very slow rate. So it's very interesting mm-hmm. how they created her and what her purpose really is. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people are after her. And that's when um, Fennec comes in because, you know, she's... A bounty hunter and so one of her jobs is to try and take her because of her importance so it's gonna be hmm. fun to see on here how that plays out now i guess without uh talking too much about season one what do you hope to see happen in season two so one of the characters from season one has a regular chip and so he's struggling between what his orders are and his family of the bad batch so it's going to be interesting to see how he lets go of being the perfect soldier and reconnects with the rest of the team so it's going to be interesting to see his transformation and his growth and also more about omega what her real purpose is and what their what her role is and what the bad batch's role is in protecting her and getting her to wherever she needs to go okay hmm. how long is the the season the first season i think was maybe 10 to 13 episodes what's terrible about today's society and episodic TV shows is they're no longer 25, 30 episodes. They're like an eighth of that. <laughs> there are six right. episodes. There are 10 episodes. So there's a lot of stuff that you have to introduce in such a limited period of time. I was just complaining about this in another video. I don't oh, know which one. It's so irritating. It's basically you're watching a trilogy of movies in episodic form. Right. I mean, in other countries, they do have super short seasons like this. In the, in the UK, like the Doctor Who seasons are like, what, four or five episodes sometimes maybe? I thought they uh, used to be not, a lot longer. Well, I don't, I don't know. We're, but we're not used to that. Uh, and that was a big shock for me. Um, but yeah, I'm a child of the 22 to 26 episode season. Yeah, where um, you actually have time to explore the characters. I think I was talking about Lower Decks. I don't know if you ever watched that <gasps> I show. I love Lower Decks. <laughs> me too. I'm so excited for season three. It's coming out in a couple weeks. Mm, that um, one's going to be an exciting one too. Yeah. But, you know, Disney Plus has been rolling out, like, a bunch of six-episode shows lately. They're starting to do many series, And I think right. a lot of it has to do with a lot of movie directors. They're realizing, you know, I want to do something better, so I'm going to stop doing movies and start trying to do episodes, series, and TVs. So I wonder if that has a lot to do with it. Yeah, well, for sure. Like, TV is now the place to to be making exciting and different stories. So coming back to Bad Batch, um, you said that a lot of the characters, you don't really see them. You haven't seen them before except, like, Echo. Right, yeah. I, I think so, yeah. There might be some bounty hunters that are familiar from Clone Wars or Rebels. But you don't see, other than the very beginning, really any Jedi, anything like that. They go to a lot of planets that are new, that haven't been introduced yet. But it's really just about them trying to survive, so they take odd jobs just to get paid. I'm trying to th- Oh, well, no, actually, uh, I believe Tarkin is actually in Bad Batch. So you do see him, and then you do see Saul Guerrero, and he was in Rebels. And then you see the Kaminoans. <laughs> you see them. So I guess there are some characters that you see, but they're not prominent characters from previous movies or previous series. Wow, it's a lot to... I've got so much, so much that I need to watch. Yes. And Bad Batch is going to be probably the least serious series of Star Wars. 
because it is about these A-team kind of guys. And so they have these different types of characters all bunched in together. So I think that's going to be a fun, it's definitely a fun series to watch. Well, uh, like I said, you sold me on the whole um, A-team. They're, they're the A-team in space. Yeah, um, they definitely are. <laughs> Sally, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to join me on my channel. It was a little bit of a pain setting us up, technically. Oh, it uh, really was. Wow. <laughs> we, we made it. At least I, I think we made it. If uh, if this video is uploaded, then you'll see that we made it. Uh, I hope it was an enjoyable experience for you. Yeah, and I think before that, I'll watch the series prior to it. So, I'm really, so it'll be really fresh in my mind. I tried to do mm -hmm. that, and my husband's like, you don't need to do that. You've already seen it. You already know it about it. I'm like, no, mm -hmm. I'm probably not going to say something right. <laughs> All right. Again, thank you, everybody, for you know watching with me and Sally. And I'm sure you'll see her again. And we'll have some other great reactions for you. And otherwise, uh, everybody have a great night. Bye.